Welcome back to Omni Factory. This is A to Zero Hero. This is episode number four. Uh, last episode, we got our first machines up and running. Today, we've got a major goal of getting our item conduits. Uh, we're gonna have to work through here through the pump, the fluid uh, extractor and solidifier, molds, steel, pulsating dust, and up to item conduits. First thing we have to do is make pumps. Pumps, jeepers, creepers. This is a painful, painful, painful recipe. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make, I think, eight pumps at once because that should get us to until we can have some eight auto crafting. Okay, we gotta make some bronze. So that's copper dust and tin dust like that. And then some, uh, mix it like uh, that and smelt it down. Got that started. Okay, we're going to need 32 tin plates. I'm going to sneak those in line ahead of the other plates. We're also going to need 16 rods. I get those started. So you're going to need the bronze plates. I'm going to sneak them ahead of the uh, wrought iron plates like sat. So, so as soon as the tin finishes up, it'll grab the first thing here. All right, for the screws, we need to saw that and get 16 pieces and then run these 16 pieces through the lathe. So I'll cue those up. Okay, next we need a flint and a flint and a stick to make a knife and then uh, 16 rubber plates to make 16 rubber rings. Hooray. And here we go, um, eight, 10 rings and we should be able to make Yes, here we go, the eight rotors. Spread them out. Eight rotors, done. And here we go. Um, well, I got more than I need now. Medium bronze pipes, hooray. And some tin cables for the last component. And then I can craft my, put all my stuff in here and split it my eight oh, motors my eight electric pumps hooray all right i'm also going to need some steel so i'm going to go ahead and grab this alloy smelter here and one basic alloy smelter hooray alloy smelter now it works okay to make steel we just need to get some charcoal dust and some wrought iron and smelt it together in our alloy smelter. Take our eight steel plates, put them in that pattern and get um, two molds, make sure the quest completes. Make a gear mold and a block mold. All right, quest complete. Now we already have all the ingredients for a basic fluid extractor and a basic fluid solidifier. Hooray! Like so. Okay, next on our list we're gonna get uh, pulsating dust. That's made from uranite. Uraninite. I don't have any of that so back to the store we go. We are gonna use a lot of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with um, two full stacks and get that smelted up here. Then smelt this dust uh, again to get pulsating dust, hooray. Then up here, we can make a pulsating iron ingot by alloy smelting iron and the pulsating dust. And here we go, one pulsating iron ingot. Quest complete. Okay, come over here to our conduit um, thing, put these in, let's see. There we are, 24 uh, item conduits. Quest complete. I need to uh, mine some obsidian, so I'm just going to repair my hammer up just a little bit. Okay, here's how the um, fluid extractors work. I'm going to put in um, multiple of four, that's 32. And I'm going to tell it to output to the right. And then I'm going to tell it fluid extract. And then in here, I'm going to put in the gear mold like so. 
So once four uh, of these come in there, it goes in the mold and makes a gear. That's a little bit of savings and materials over the other way, and it's just a little bit easier. Okay, getting a sip obsidian at the stage of the game is not much different from how it is in Minecraft, except we can use our um, mining hammer to chop up bigger blocks of notes. Show you one, and that'll be enough. I'm going to get probably close to a stack of this obsidian. So we're going to put uh, steel and obsidian in the alloy smelter and get dark steel out of it. It's going to take a little bit to get um, 16 ingots, so we'll go do something else. Okay, next we need to make our boilers and turbine conversion kits. Um, we're going to need two of the uh, boiler conversions and four of these turbine conversions. We're going to need um, at least six iron gears, so we're just going to plop those in there and have them go through the uh, fluid solidifier gear mold. We're going to need a little bit of this fused quartz, which is made from nether quartz. Um, the easiest way for us to get that is to harvest it from some of these buildings. There we go. On an enchanting table, might as well grab it while I'm here. Now the uh, block of quartz goes right down into nether quartz. And nether quartz by itself smelts an alloy smelter like that. Alright, All right. redstone conductance coils. And six augments. Hooray! There we go. And cauldron and now four of these hooray clear a little bit of stuff out I'm gonna chop some of this down I've got the end of bore I put two buckets here got it in the ground and now it's going to continually supply water for me I think I can set these up like this and like this rotate it like that and then I can, yeah, here we go, click it on that side with the wrench and it starts filling it up. Perfect, like that. Then apply my two boiler conversions. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and destroy all this. like that and then I'm going to take my pressurized conduit like that and I don't know they say not to have them loop or interconnect like that so I'll just change them like that and oh look at there I made too many of these I should have just made four but I made six take the other two and just throw them away I'll never use them all right, so let's put in our charcoal and see if it works. Look at there, making power. Okay, I just need a little bit more of this stuff here. Eight, 14, that should be good. And then come out here and wire this up like so. And again, the rule is don't make circles or links with your conduits. And check in here, and it's going up really fast now. Perfect. Okay, show you what I did real quick. These conduits have a maximum of 512, 
and I was making 640 worth of power so I added an extra output on here so now each outputs averaging 320 which is less than the 512 and now if I check here on my power usage is doing the maximum 160 on each of these steam dynamos and then these are obviously running at full steam production as well perfect all right pretty easy okay I've taken a look here it's not burning the charcoal that fast and we've got enough of it and we can easily get a lot more charcoal if we need to I'm gonna just put off getting the snad and focus on getting up our blast furnace first instead and I'm gonna do that next episode this is a good stopping point so join me next time for the blast furnace